Well, we meet again. What's up guys, it's me Dan LSG, and welcome to the Jato Fan Game Kit Tutorial Series Thing Part 3! I haven't made it in part, uh, to a Part 3 in a while. <laughs> um, I'm standing in front of Kohad right now in Ring 3 because it looked cool. I mean, come on. That shit looks insane. Look at that! Uh, but that's besides the point. Anyways, so this video will show you how to make a ring select for your fan game. And also it will show a couple more fixes for the pad script that I didn't go over the last time. And since then, there's actually been a uh, new discovery for a uh, for a tower rush bug. And I will show you how to fix that today. So, uh, yeah. So, Alright, well, without further ado, let's jump straight into it, guys. Alright, so we are back in studio, and uh, as we can see, our fan game kit tutorials game is right here, so let's go into that. Alright, now that we are in, we can see we're, we are where we left off before. Alright, so, now you might be wondering, hey, wait a minute, this isn't the ring select, but and that's because I want to show the pads fixes first, just to get that out of the way before we get onto the ring select, because uh, to set that up is going to be a bit... Is gonna be a bit different because we're gonna need to set that as the primary place because right now the game's primary place is this So aka starter place and we need the starter place to be the ring select. So I'll show how to do that um, Okay, so What you want to do is Go into the pads of course right there Okay, so let's start off with the uh, teleporter pads fix as I mentioned in the previous part, uh, Zilx has provided a bunch of uh, fixes for the pad script, and this is one of them. So credits goes to him once again. So let's fix these teleport pads. Alright, so, um, once you're in pads, I have to mention something real quick. The modified pads changes a couple of the function names here. So, in Zilx's tutorial that he provided me, he, s he says go to the function on teleporter touched, but it's actually changed to on lobby TP touched right here as you can see and there's a couple things changing here as well as so in the original pads it was h dot parent and then and then destination but here it's markers folder dot spawn location all right so uh, under this line you're gonna want to paste in this function right here so this function is basically gonna make the teleporter uh, things work so these right here Okay, so, also you can see here it says uh, unknown global portals folder and unknown global H and unknown teleporter touched. Uh, we can fix all that. You can just define the portals folder like this. Okay. Portals folder equals game dot workspace dot portals. You can see portals and there it is. And you can see it has the lobby teleporter value and this is mentioned in the function right here. And as you can see, this script basically checks for a part that is named this that is named this right here you can see it has the value sky lobby i don't know why they didn't make this an object value this would have made it easier but they just made it a string value so basically the the function is going to look for a part called sky lobby which is right here and then it's going to teleport you to that and also it says right here on teleporter touched you're going to want to change this on lobby tp touched on teleporter as you can see, it causes an error right here because it's on lobby TP touch. It's been changed to on teleporter touch and get rid of those like that. And then when you can see there's an error with the H right here because it's an unknown global. Um, just just put an H in this. There we go. And that should have uh, that should fix it. And the function on teleporter touch, you're gonna want to put a comma here and then type in destination and and then. Uh, and then that, and then base part, and then replace this markers folder dot spawn location to destination. And one final thing we're gonna need to change is right here v dot touch connect on teleporter touch. I'll paste the on teleporter touched with function, and then put in h just, just like that. And then you're gonna want to put a check for if the thing that's touched it is a player. So if h Parent, find first child. Humanoid. It's gonna check for. It's gonna check if there's a humanoid uh, thing. That's a good way of checking if it's the player. And then you're gonna do the function 
unteleported touched, H, and then V. All right, so once you have that, you're gonna wanna close out of it, and uh, let's test this. All right, we're in the game, so uh, let's see if it's worked. Hey, there we go, we can see it's worked. And no errors in console. Uh, since we've made changes to the like lobby TP part as well, let's see if those work still. Ah, we can see here it keeps teleporting to the same position. So um, let's fix that. All right, let's go in pads and find those functions. Uh, right here, this is the issue right here. On teleport touched. So. I made the mistake of it being if of it teleporting it to the like lobby TP port itself. So, but we actually needed it to teleport to the destination. You're gonna want to replace this V right here with game workspace dot markers dot spawn location. There we go. That should fix it. Now let's test. There we go. Now we are transported to the spawn location. And as we can see, the teleporter works. Nice. All right, now that we fixed that, uh, let's go over the tower rush fix because there has been an issue there's an issue with tower with the tower rush where every time you enter a new tower, the timer resets. Fixing that is actually very simple, and I'll show you how. The fix for this was provided by someone named Ashthrow on the uh, J2 fan game creation community server, and this is all you need to do. Okay, so you're gonna wanna f uh, go into seal loader for this, and then you're gonna scroll down until you find this section right here. This should be uh, the thing that you're looking for. And then under it, you're just gonna wanna put timer running equals true. And that's all. And that's all you need to do. That's the fix. And um, yeah, about the Tower Rush portal, I'm going to show you how to set that up because I didn't show that in the previous videos. So in the Tower Rush part, there's a Tower Rush portal module script. So you go inside that. And then uh, this is basically all the towers that are in the Tower Rush. So you want to replace these with uh, the tower folder names of like each tower that's going to be in the Tower Rush. So um, you go to the towers and then we have T1 and then and VT because those are the only two towers we have in the game right now and then the proper name right here you can change this to yeah I'm, I'm not changing it and then the badge ID keep that at zero for now now let's see if this works so let's play test and see now if we did this properly the timer should not reset once we reach the next tower so let's Get up to the top of the tower with no clip. You can uh, you can press E and Q to slow down or uh, speed up with no clip. So I uh, yeah, that's just one thing. All right, Q to slow down. There we go. All right, and there we go. As we can see, it's the next tower, and the previous tower was unloaded, and the timer is still running. And then if we complete this, let's see if it errors or something. The tower rushes. Are not the are not the best thing in this kit apparently, and as we can see, it's beaten example tower rush in 36 seconds and 89, 36 seconds and 0.89, and um yeah, you can see it's the remorseless difficulty. You can change that in the pad script, um, uh, yeah, in the pad script you can change the tower rush difficulty by just going in there and then find the tower rush right here. You can see it's remorseless. You can change that. And then you can also change all these other things. Like, it's customizable. Alright, so, uh, yeah, that's the fixes that I didn't get to go over last episode because it was too fucking long. Um, and now let's move on to the ring select. But first, we need to make the ring select the primary place, or the starter place of this game. Alright, so, go to File, and then Save to Roblox As, or Publish to Roblox As. And then Fan Game Kit Tutorials. And then Add as a New Place. And then click Create. So this is so what this does is basically it saves this place as like a different place other than the starting place in the fan game kit game. So we can see if we exit out of it and then uh, go back into it, you can see here open place page. So it's gonna open the place page for uh, yeah, 
then we can so once we're in the game page we're gonna go to configure this experience and in places you can see right here that it's uh, copied this place which was the start place to this place and uh, okay so now we have the, and if we go in here to edit we can we will see that it is the place that we were just editing all right so my roblox saying my roblox studio is doing the thing again where it's just gonna fail to load the place and i have to click retry i'm not gonna wait for that long because that's just gonna take like 54 million years so we're gonna move on right to the ring select all right so i'll leave a link to the ring select template in the description uh I will give credit to the original person who made the ring select tutorial. It's this person right here, Nuberboy22. He's the original like tutorial guy for the ring select. I'm just adapting it into my video, so credits goes to him. All right, so I will leave a link in the description to his video as well, and with the ring select template as well. All right, so go in here and click edit because the on copy locked, so um, you can edit it. Right, so once you go in, it should look something like this. It should be an empty place with, uh, yeah, you can see right here. Just a bunch of stuff. Uh, this has been updated a bit since the last time I've been here, so this is a bit interesting. It has, like, the kind objects, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, it just, he just added a helpful things, thing, decor, and stuff like that. Alright, so, uh, let's go over things a little bit. So the beams folder is empty, because... She didn't put beams in here for some reason. I'll go over that in the next episode because I'll go in more depth as to how to improve this ring select, such as a difficulty bar and also the beams as well, of course. All right, so, uh, and you can see here, the decor is just the mini towers and then there's helpful stuff like trees. These are just taken from like an old ring select place from the Jato. And this part right here is just for surface light. I think uh, someone forgot to remove this, or this was kept in here deliberately, just so you can uh, use it for lighting in your ring select. You can see here there's like also a bunch of just random stuff you can like make your ring select with, like a bunch of materials, like particle stuff, dead trees, fog, like particles, just, yeah, just a bunch of stuff you can use in the, uh, just a bunch of stuff you can use in uh, your ring select. You can see also here are the ring emblems, which, um, yeah, these are, I don't know why these are here, but, um, they're just there. There's also difficulty things here, which, um, I don't know why these are here. These don't really serve a purpose, it, like, when making the ring select. And then we have placelets here, which is, this is the, this is all the different rings. And you can see here, the world name, this is used for an icon, like, when you play the ring select. It's, it just shows like a little thing. This was once used in Jato for uh, back when I was Kato. It was called Kitty's Inferno. So uh, this is the, this is the like asset ID for that. And then we have the Ring One model, which each of these models needs to have an info, place name, accessible badge count, place ID, values, and then the bottom and top as well, and also camera position points. These are all uh, mandatory. And if you don't have the and if you don't have any of that in a Ring model, then it will break. Alright, so let's go over these. Info is just what's going to show up in the info box. Uh, you can type anything there. You can see Roblox is a, a bit buggy when it comes to displaying this, so you just close attributes. And there you go. I recommend typing this in notepad. So, let's see. Notepad. I recommend typing this in notepad because you can have like, stuff like that. Um, there's also place name. That's obvious. Then accessible, this, this, this dictates if it's accessible by the public or not. You can uncheck this if you don't want the place to be accessible, even if you have enough towers. Then the badge count, which basically uh, says how much badges you need, how much tower badges you need to access this place. And then, of course, the place ID. Uh, to get the place ID, uh, I'll tell you how to do that once we've actually published this place. And then the bottom is the bottom of like the rig thing, and then the top of the ring thing, and then, of course, the camera position. The camera position is where the camera is going to be, like in the ring select preview thing. And then the reborn theme, this is uh, the ring select music. Of course it doesn't work because the Roblox update. We have lighting, of course, and rip clay to first. This is uh, the screen GUI. This is for the loading the screen. You can see it right here. Let's uh, play test to see if it actually works. 
course, there's going to be no music because the update. You can see it loads. Sometimes it loads indefinitely, but here we can see it's fine. And yeah, we can't do the things because there's only one ring and it's of course accessible you can see the difficulty bar is just red it doesn't work and uh yeah that's uh pretty much it game settings save to roblox then update existing game fan game kit tutorials and then the starter place right here Loki doki's place number 76 it's just a copy of the fan game kit tutorials place so select the fan game kit tutorials place or because this is because that is the uh like primary or starter place then overwrite you can see here no permission use audio file this is gonna pop up you can just click grant all permission it doesn't really matter then publish for that permission and uh, yeah and now the ring select is the primary place of our fan game and ring one is the other place all right so and then the last thing how to get the uh you know place id all right so you're gonna want to go to view and then asset manager and you can see it's just safe to Roblox because, like, you know, we, like this is still the uncopy locked place. So let's exit out. It's you can see it's a uh, locked us in this. Okay, just click no because it's already been saved. And then fan game kit tutorials configure this experience in places, and then fan game kit tutorials. And go into edit, and it should be the ring select. It says you were disconnected because like we were editing scripts and stuff. You don't need to worry about those. You can just close out of that. And uh, there it is, there's the ring select. Alright, so, I accidentally closed my explorer. Alright, there we go. So, as I was saying before, go into Asset Manager, and then Places, and then it should be Vokidoki's place number, which is, like, the copy we made of the other place. Then, copy ID to clipboard, and then, we can paste it inside of the place ID right here. And uh, there we go. Now, uh... If you can play test it in game, it should teleport you to the fan game kit place that we did. Let's alt pub alt P, which is publish. I accidentally keep closing my explorer. There we go. Now let's close out of studio. Okay, so let's uh, click play. And there we go. It's the ring. The ring select. And if we click enter, we should be teleported to our place. And there we go. We are in the fan game kit tutorial place. And it's where we left off before. You see all these fixes work, the tower rushes work, all that. This is the end of part three. In part four, I'll be going over how to like fix stuff with the ring select. Or not fix, but more like add. Like a difficulty bar. And also how to remove that um, watermark that you saw before. And uh, yeah, that is basically it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.